Hey guys, so welcome back to this segment of my channel. Team Money Gang, how are you doing? It's been so crazy, like economically in the last few weeks in my country. Ah, I know there's a global recession, but it has eaten so, so, so deep. And um, countries like ours, are having the worst heat ever like i can't imagine anything short of this you know there's been scarcity of cash our currency was redesigned and there was there's been scarcity of cash now you go to assess the money you have to get it from uh, people who dispense because the banks are all jacked up the atms aren't working so you have to pay a premium to buy naira like What's that? Is a Naira appreciating against itself? You know, it's been really crazy, guys. You know, the picture that comes to my mind all the time, if you read the Bible, where they said when the Antichrist comes, that people will not be able to trade. So you can actually have your money, but you can't use it. So you can't do a transfer either because your bank app is not working. You can't walk into the bank to get cash. They'll tell you the new currency isn't enough. You can't use the ATMs, they are jacked up, a lot of people are sleeping there. It's crazy. Then you go to use the all, the normal money um, exchanges, then they charge you a premium up to like hundred naira, a thousand naira rather, for every five thousand naira that you collect. You, you hear what I mean? So you, see, so you look at the fraction. Then there's no fuel. We're petroleum producing country. Light is worse, very bad in most part of the country, you know, well, where I live, we are a little bit at an advantage, so food stops are so expensive, I wonder how, you know, people will, that we actually call the poor are coping, it's crazy, people are going crazy, the mental health um, it's, challenges have skyrocketed, people are anxious, unsure, elections are a few days away, we're actually having our presidential elections on the 25th of February, and then everything is just, and there's counter and counter, um, what they call that now, rumors about the fact that politicians are the, one, uh, are the ones um, holding the new Naira notes, um, you know, to splunge and elections and stuff, which is why it's not available for everyone. You know, whether it's true or not, you can't tell. It's just been really, really crazy. And um, in the midst of it, you have to run your family, you have to pay your bills, you have to wake up every day hopeful, you know, especially for Nigeria. We are really, really hopeful that this time around in our elections, we can elect a competent leader right it's crazy guys so i wanted to start that way because um i've seen firsthand how that just the policy can change everything right i mean i was in the market you know trying to buy crayfish the other day and you know you know speaking with a few people i went to the market with my husband and another friend and, uh, you know, we just realized that very soon, all of these people who call themselves petty traders, you know, so they sell like fresh prepare groceries and all that. They just believe that they don't have any business with the bank, with you paying them by transfer and all that. They just like to have, you know, their old, old school cash. Now, it has been cashless for weeks now, and they just had to bottle up. They have to just upgrade. And we're talking about how that very soon, cash is going to be really, really something that. It's not common anymore and how well that presents an opportunity as well for those who are in the card business i mean the credit card um the debit card business and those who are also in the money exchange um, business but overall it's been uh, oh my gosh so that i can't even believe that i am experiencing this in my lifetime like in my lifetime now, a typical thing happened. We take care of my, I and my siblings take care of my parents from the different places that we are. We don't live in the same city with them. And getting them help has been like Herculean, you know, for things that are just majorly issues with that they, they themselves being able to stay with anyone, right? Um, which is story for another day. But then, this period when we had to 
send money to buy them groceries, food, top up on their gas and stuff, then you, you discover that to get somebody who can withdraw the money is an issue, to pay the premium on the money is an issue, to be able to queue for the, who we have the patience to queue to even get the money that you're going to pay a premium on collecting is an issue. Even being able to be sure that the person can queue and eventually get the cash and buy the stuff for them and then deliver it, make sure they are fine, has been crazy. Like, and that's that brings me to why I started this channel. You know, it just made me remember that part of the reasons why I became so, so, so bent on financial education, taking my personal finance seriously and, you know, deciding to share my journey and my research and my experience on this channel is because of times like this. But then there are certain things that you couldn't have envisaged. You can't believe that you can have money and then struggle to spend it. So this time around, it's not just that a matter of I don't have money. It's a matter of the fact that even if you're the rich, you're a billionaire. You can't move around money anyhow. You can't get the money out when you want it. You can't even spend it on just anything. Apart from the fact that even there are a lot of, you know, um, what I call them, embargoes on maximum spend with your Naira card. Actually, when you want to shop on, on international websites, it's just been stifling, guys. It's just been stifling. Above all, the main issue or uh, the big deal is what you do with the times that you're facing. Tell me what it feels like in your country. How is this recession globally affecting your country? Is this something that, you know, you see ending soon? Is this something that, of course, human beings will always cope, even if we don't come out of it the same kind of people, because... Trust me, this is changing us. This is changing us in every way, right? But somehow, we are human beings. We are the biggest force on the earth, right? So we are going to cope, or so we think. We're, go we're still going to be here when things turn around or not. That's what I mean. But how do you think, how do you see that future? You know, will this come to an end? Is it going to become the trend? Is the world even coming to an end? What do you think? Yeah? Let's discuss in the comment section. I just wanted to have this chit chat with you guys. And um, I hope we can talk some more in, our, in my next video, right? Okay, share with me what it feels like in your country. If you're Nigerian like me, how have you been coping? One love from me to you. I hope you keep your calm. See what I do. Sometimes when the calls are coming in from everywhere in particular, I shut off. Yeah, you have to be selfish to to you know keep your mental health in place right so i decide to pick calls when i want to pick calls or from those i'm sure also respect my mental health you know until this phase passes we just have to cope we just have to be there for ourselves you know and i'm here to say keep holding on don't give up if you're not nigerian pray for nigeria we are getting into the toughest the most significant um a turning point period turning point election in our, the history of our country and um, we can't wait to keep a video all through the 25th of february up to 26th no matter how long it takes to just be sure that our votes count and that the man of the people is put into the presidential seat of nigeria so that we can begin the journey to good leadership, to clearing the mess, you know, to, you know, start a process where we can get back our country and begin to make it great again, right? Thank you so much for listening to my TED Talk. Okay, TED rant. <laughs> All right, I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me on this channel. Share this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with me in the comment section what you think. And I'll come your way again right away in my next video. Right? Bye.